Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. And I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our top five bourbons for summer sipping. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by, checking us out. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, uh, drop some comments down below. What are you going to be drinking this summer? We'd love to see what you guys are drinking. Uh, don't forget that notification bell thing so you get all those notifications when we put new videos out. Uh, check us out over on Patreon. We're doing a lot of cool stuff over on Patreon. Giveaways. We're giving away a Herfador. We're giving away a torch. We're giving away a uh, Pappy. A sample out of something that we drink out of or, or review for that yep. month. The Pappy Old Fashioned Mix. Thank you for cutting me off again, Matthew. Anytime, buddy. And uh, Matt, so before we get into uh, our top five, what are we drinking? We're drinking a Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Proof. These things are pretty good. This one's 10 year, 9 months, yeah. coming in at uh, what, 106. So not high on the proof, but still delicious. High on the flavor. Delicious. So. All right, Pat. Summer sipping. Mm hmm So every fall, winter, you start doing some more of the barrel proofs, some more of the the, the heavier rise. Yep. Um, as it gets summertime, you can do one of two things. A lot of people lower the proof, mm -hmm. or they start sipping on ice. We do a mixture of both. We do. Because I still love to drink some of the high, high proof stuff. And if it's just a really hot as balls days out, I'll just add a big block of ice and... It makes it enjoyable to me because that's what bourbon's all about. It's just enjoying your drink, right? Absolutely. However, ones that we're going to more than not right now are going to be these five. Yep. Um, I tend to go with more of a finished bourbon because, you know, I like the fruity the flavors notes and, yeah, yeah, the flavors that are coming into it. So, all right, now this is no particular order. It's just as I grab a bottle of what we're doing. So... Old Forester 1910. Toasted Barrel to start us off with, right? Toasted Barrel is a great one because you know what? You get a lot of those campfire notes, the marshmallows, Absolutely. all that type of stuff. And it's great cooking s'mores with the kids. Yeah. Have some bourbon to go with it. And at 93 proof, it's not too much for you on a really, really hot day, which is the best part. Yeah. It's great if you're going to sip it neat. Even if you did put it on a block of ice, it's still, it's, it's not going to be, you know, it's not, you're not drinking water. It's not exactly. like an 80 proof or something like that. Nope. So, all right, Pat, what is going to be our next one? Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. Yeah. Monarch. Yeah. This one, Pat, has been freaking hitting the spot lately. It's been delicious. We killed one bottle. We had to get another bottle. This is the third, actually. Okay, then. This so, <laughs> I ended up having to go get a couple extra just because, you know, um, it's been hitting the spot right now. It's, yeah. It's a great... Uh, you know, it's a, it's like a little bit of a fruity drink to it. It's not super high in the proof. It's, it's something, coming in at 90 proof, so yeah. it's perfect. It, it's great. To, it's it's literally been the go sit by the fire at night. Yeah. Have a glass of bourbon or two or three, and it is always this one. Right now, for me, for the past week, it has specifically been this one. Yep. You know what I mean? It is just hitting all the spots right now. It is so flavorful. I, I think this is one of my top... Favorite bottles currently. Yeah, I'm actually sad that we waited so long to get into the Redwood stuff. I know. Well, the problem is it's not even around here. Yeah, we have to go to so the state over. New Hampshire just got Pipe Dream. That's the only one they have. Um, this one we were able to get down at uh, Redstone. Yeah. And now I found a couple other stores down there that all had them. But it was one of those things that was just not in our area. And it sucks because it's a good, it's, good product. It's, it's delicious. Another one that I absolutely love. And again... You know, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, rise, you shouldn't be drinking in the summertime type of thing. Well, this thing it's is a just... freaking fruit bomb. Yes. It is so complex. It is so delicious. Now, this is still coming in a little high proof. What are we at? 119.3 proof. The thing is, though, so, it doesn't drink at 119 It proof. does not. Nowhere close to it. So, I was going to say, like, you bring this over for your in-laws... Mm -hmm. Right for them to try all that type of stuff. They're not like high proof bourbon people, or any of that type of stuff, and they loved it. Absolutely. Loved and it. it's the same way with everybody else that we sort of had. Like, hey, try this bottle out. Yep. This is this is a bottle that everybody should have. Period. It's good. I all year. I would agree. I would agree. Year round, it's pretty good. Yeah. I definitely think it's more of a summer type of drink for the fruitiness on it. However, it is just it's a great sipping bottle. Kills it. Kills it. All right. 
Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I mean, you can't talk about this, summer campfire s'more stuff without talking this bottle. You know, when we talked about this, the very first bottle that came to my mind yeah. is this bottle. Because you know what? In the summertime, this is one of the bottles that I reach to the most Yeah. for that campfire, for that pairing it with the campfire, not necessarily the cigar I'm having at that night, you know what I'm saying? Yep. However, it just goes with the s'mores. With everything else that we're doing in life, oh. it goes in great. This, and it's not super a, high proof. It's like a s'mores in a bottle. It yeah. is so delicious. There's so much marshmallow to it, which is just And fantastic. you know what? I'll tell you this much. I went bourbon hunting the other day, and this was sitting on the shelves of multiple places. Which is mind-blowing. Just sitting there. That's one, two, three, four stores had this just sitting there. You know what I mean? So it's getting easier to get now, which mm -hmm. is is a plus, I feel. Yeah. You know, it's 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 easier to find. It might not be true in your area, but at least on the North Shore of Massachusetts, where I went bourbon hunting, yep. it was literally just sitting there. You know, and at 94 proof, once again, you're not going to get blown away by it. It's just a nice, you know, good drink. Last and not least, Eagle Rare. Pat, I... This, once again, I mean, we've been toasting through. This bottle's been open for a couple of days, and it's halfway gone. Mm. This one's a store pick from the 1940 Barrel Society. Yep. Um, if you can find store picks of these, even better. And I will say, I disagreed with you on this one. This one is kind of got some spice to it, where I'd rather have it more fall, winter. I go straight Buffalo Trace come summertime. Um, but... Just to make an opinion between us. Yeah, I was going to say, right now, the, I think the 10-year spot on this, the the proof, like everything, it, it just makes it great. And like I said, yeah. this this was this was all me. This was not him drinking this one. Um, and it's it's been one of my go-tos. Right behind Lost Monarch, this has actually been my number two bottle that I've been reaching yeah. for it lately. Right behind that one, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Surprise, right? Surprise, Matt. However... The problem is, is, is this thing. It's it's very light drinking. I still get a lot of sweet notes out of it. I, you're getting a lot more spice out of it. Yep. However, I think it's just a light, easy, smooth drinker, and I think it's perfect for you know, like I said, sitting at, sitting around the fire pit with the kids, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just relaxing. It's a great bottle to have. Yep. Anyway, so those are our top five. Let us know down in the comments below. What are you guys drinking for the summertime? It's definitely cool to see what other people drink and sometimes see what you guys drink, you know, sort of clicks us in the brain and says, hey, we need to go buy those bottles. Yeah, we need to try something. Yeah. Um, so we're always looking for some more bottles to try and some more flavors out there. Anyways, we thank you guys so much for following us along. We hope you guys all have a great day.